hello my people how are you doing today i hope you are doing great and if not i pray you do so as quick as possible so today we'll be frying fish rolls yes fish rolls and we will be keeping this simple i mean really simple but very very delicious guys let's go straight there and see what we'll be using here we have six cups of flour we have two eggs a tablespoon of sugar a teaspoon of baking powder a quarter spoon of salt a quarter cup of milk a cup of butter and three cups of sardine and here we have half onion that's a medium-sized onion and we have two scallions which are still onions so for the filling we are only going to be using sardine and onion we will start with our filling so i'll go straight ahead and put in our oil from the sardine i'm not going to be using vegetable oil i'll be using the oil from the sardine so let's start our sardine oil is in the pan right now we will not let the oil hot if not the water from it is going to pop to pop out and it might burn you because you know the sardine oil has a little bit of water in there so go ahead and just pour in our onions first the scallions will come at the end and now you turn off your stove and let it heat as the oil heats you allow your onion to get done and once it's, once it's done you go ahead and put in your sardine fish our onion is cooked you don't want it to overcook and be mushy so i'll go ahead and put in our sardines now once it's in there you go ahead and press it like this and get it mixed at this point our filling is well mixed you go ahead and pour in your scallion and then you add a pinch of salt just a pinch because you know the chicken i mean the sardine has been flavored already it's well flavored so the pinch of salt is just for the onion that you added a pinch just like that turn off your stove and let it cool down our filling is cooling down we'll go ahead and mix our dough which is we pour in our flour add in our butter sugar salt and baking powder and now go ahead and mix it. I like I like doing it with my fingers. Yes. Our dough has been well mixed. Now let's go ahead and put in our eggs. We'll mix this and then later on add in our milk. At this point, as you can see, our dough is starting to hold. And if yours is not holding at this point go ahead and add in one more egg but mine is okay because i was using two large eggs now i'll pour in my milk and mix i'm done mixing that dough and this is how it looks like in the see how soft that is this is how your dough should be it shouldn't be hard it shouldn't be too um soft it, sh it should just be like this now i'll let it rest in the fridge for about 10 to 15 minutes this is optional i do it because i feel like it is my rolling of the dough cover this with a plastic grab and straight into the fridge our dough has been in the fridge for 15 minutes now and that's how it look like and then our filling too is cool enough go ahead and mix this dough really well and then divide it into the sizes you'll be using for your fish roll so first i divided the dough into eight and each of them now into five so it will give me approximately 40 fish rolls now flatten your dough the bottom of your dough should be very thin so that when you roll it it easily sticks to the whole dough now i'm going to roll it and please watch carefully to prevent your dough from opening while you're frying you 
you keep repeating the process until all this is done now if you want your fish roll to be longer than this just make sure you expand the dough while you're flattening it that's just it guys i'm almost done with my rolling now go ahead and pour about a liter of vegetable oil preferably in your pot let it heat and then start frying before finishing the other rolls let your oil heat on medium for about three to five minutes at most and then put in your fish rolls and start frying now you don't want to put your fish rolls in the oil um, when the oil is too hot because first your dough is not going to be well cooked and secondly your fish rolls are going to have bubbles on the top and you don't want that once your dough starts getting brown on the other side go ahead and flip it so the gets done even our fish roll is now ready go ahead take it out and then go for the next round onto your now we're done with the first round make sure you always turn off your stove and let it cool for about two to three minutes before you put in the next round as i always tell you i prefer a sieve with no paper towel inside because it helps the dough of anything you're frying to be crispier this is what i was talking about when your oil is too hot and that is the final result my people oh my god keep this little secret to best save your fish rolls or meat pie be it homemade or bought from the store put it in the freezer in a ziploc bag or a plastic pan and anytime you're ready to eat it take it out put it in your oven for about 5 to 10 minutes at 250 degree fahrenheit now go ahead and enjoy this delicious fish rolls with my special pepe i will show you how to do it in the subsequent we have come to the end of this video my family please if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment share subscribe and most importantly click the notification bell for new updates i love you all peace